There you go. Okay. Uh, today, for my scheme claim speech, I'll be conducting the the difference between photochemical and digital film and photography aspect. As we all know, we all live in a digital world, and that photochemical filmmaking and photography is like Latin. It's a dead language. Um, in today's world, digital film and photography is overwhelmingly impacted on today's society. So for my first transition or example, uh, I like to quote two professional filmmakers. One, George Lucas. Uh, both um, filmmakers, uh, George Lucas and James Cameron, who I've been quoting as well, uh, were interviewed in a documentary film called Side by Side, um, basically covering the same issue that I am. So, um, when interviewed, George Lucas said, film is, like, film is a 19th century uh, invention. We are at the top of photochemical process. This is as far as it's going to go. Um, in saying that, uh, film processing takes a lot of labor and there's so much that you can just do in the process of making a film. Uh, in correlation to Lucas, James Cameron marked, I saw the door opening on a field of possibilities that you just could not do with film. Later in the film, he also acknowledges that digital is going to continue to improve. As second evidence, I'd like to share some factual data to support my claim. Compared to film, film is expensive. You have to date, um, you have to constantly change your film. It takes a lot of time just to do that. It's very unproductive. And it's also difficult to produce and uh, edit. It takes about a day in, professionally it could take about a day to just have your dailies or that's what the interviewer would like to say as um, they're recapping of the film. It, um, looking back at it, you know, editing, critiquing. Um, and it's also precious. It takes a lot of labor and a lot of time. As you know, um, I was also in the photography department downstairs and I kind of got a glimpse of what it's like and it's very, very time consuming. I spent about four hours just developing a photo of about like four photos, just four hours, one hour each. It takes a lot of time. Um, compared to digital though, it's easy, it's fast, it's cheap in the long, in the long run. So you can buy a chip and it can store as many as up to 10,000 uh, photos or, or like 15 hours or 20 hours of film. Um, it's light, it's long takes, and you can use your creativity with it. Um, and that said, it's also you, you ambiguous, which meaning it's everywhere, like social network like um, Instagram, Facebook, everyone knows these social networking and everyone's a part of this. Finally, I'd like to present an example of support of the medium. Over the past two decades, the top most, three most grossing films were digitally formatted and produced. The top three were Avatar, Titanic, and The Avengers in that order. Um, to back up my claim for that, the top 10 were arranged from digital and film. And the film, although we're mostly used with film as a medium, they still use digital aspects as to audio, stunts, and special effects. So in that saying, I believe that my evidence that I have read and conducted, digital is the format for the entertainment business. Thank you.